Happy Monday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon where you get to find out what's happening in the tropics. It's our tropical update. Of course, we do this every afternoon as long as we are still in the mix for some possible activity in the tropics. And that is all the way through the end of hurricane season, which does not end until November 30th. Let's start off in the Atlantic and we do have a decent looking tropical wave here that continues to move west. We do have these tropical waves that are starting to come off of that west coast of Africa more frequently, but they have been running into a lot of that Saharan dust that's been out there. I think over the next few weeks, a lot of that dust will start to fade a bit, but as long as we have that dust, it's going to kind of weaken these systems and it's going to be hard for them to survive that trek all the way across the Atlantic. But of course, we'll watch it. But at this point, the National Hurricane Center is not anticipating any tropical cyclone development for the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean over the next seven days. So we've got a couple areas of disturbed weather here and there, but nothing that looks very concerning that could potentially develop into a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane. So the Atlantic for the most part is quiet, no name storms, no tropical waves that we are super concerned about. The Caribbean looking fairly quiet. Maybe you've got a quick vacation plan to one of the Caribbean islands. It looks like you won't have to worry about any major hurricane or tropical storm impacting your plans at least over the next week or so. Gulf of Mexico looking quiet as well. Maybe you got a nice cruise planned in the Gulf. No issues with the tropics expected for the next week. So that is certainly some good news. Let's roll over to the Eastern Pacific. And this is basically where we've had much of the action in recent days. And we do still have some activity here. We have one area that we're watching. Nothing much going on at this point, but this area outlined in yellow could potentially be an area where we could have a broad area of low pressure developing over the next week or so. It would be pushing to the west. Models are indicating that a little disturbance or tropical wave could develop and turn into an area of low pressure that could possibly become our next tropical depression or tropical storm in the eastern Pacific. So the chance of that happening for the next 48 hours is 0%, but the chance for that happening over the next week is up to 30%. So it's still a low chance, and this is going to be moving away from Mexico, but still something that we are watching. Now let's roll a little bit farther out into the Pacific and we've still got a pretty powerful, small but powerful hurricane named Dora. It is still officially at category four on the Saffir Simpson scale. Maximum sustained winds around 130 miles per hour and movement is pretty quick to the west at 23 miles per hour and pressure down to 953 millibars. Notice the location though. This is good news. It is pretty far south of the Hawaiian Islands, so no major impacts to Hawaii. For those that live there, for those that are vacationing there, Dora should stay pretty far south. It is going to take a while though for Dora to weaken. In fact, over the next couple of days, still maintaining major category three hurricane status by Thursday down to a category two with 110 mile per hour winds. And then by Saturday, finally weakening back to an area of low pressure as it pushes off to the west northwest. So we do have action in the Pacific, but not much in the Atlantic right now. We did have Tropical Storm Eugene as well in the Eastern Pacific, but the last advisory was just issued for Eugene because it has lost tropical characteristics as it moved into some cooler waters. So let's hop back over to the Atlantic and you will still see all of that Saharan dust out there. The areas of brown still pretty thick for much of the Atlantic. So that's really going to hinder those tropical waves coming off of the west coast of Africa, at least for probably another week or two. But once we start to get rid of some of that dust, we've got tons of warm water out here to work with. In fact, water temps right around 90 degrees off the coast of Florida. So super warm waters will help to fuel any future storms that try to develop and they will likely be able to continue to gain strength and they could get a little closer to us, especially as we go through the rest of August and September. So it'll be something we're watching. I don't anticipate anything heading our way, at least for the next week to week and a half with that big heat dome in place. But once the pattern starts to shift a bit and that heat dome moves on out, we could start to see things get more interesting. We've got tons of warm water in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico as well. Those water temperatures in the middle to upper 80s flirting with 90 degrees 
for those sea surface temps for much of the Gulf of Mexico. So certainly very warm water out there and we will be monitoring what is happening out there with development of any potential systems closely. So far for this season, we have officially had four named storms, but it's really been five. We had that one subtropical storm in January that the National Hurricane Center later came back and said, OK, this was a tropical system. So we're really calling it five systems that we've had, even though you only see four names being checked here. Next name on the list would be Emily. We thought we were going to have Emily last week with a tropical wave in the Atlantic, but that one kind of fell apart. So Emily will still be the next name on the list, followed by Franklin, Gert, and then Harold. Of course, Harold replaces the name Harvey, which would have been on the list this year, but it was retired because Harvey six years ago was so catastrophic and we were right in the middle of all of that destruction, that heavy rain that just caused so much trouble for the area and cause so many issues. So the good news is that we don't have anything heading our way now, but we're still anticipating an above normal, very active remainder of the hurricane season. In fact, the latest update from Colorado State University is still going for 18 named storms, nine hurricanes, four major hurricanes. Because those water temperatures out there are so warm, near record warmth, and we are starting to see a little bit of that dust go away for the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, and eventually the Atlantic. So that will set the stage for what could be a very active next few months. So notice where we are. We're getting closer and closer to the middle of August, but September is the typical peak of our hurricane season. So we've got to get through September and then really the first half of October. Usually if we don't get anything in Southeast Texas by the middle of October, things usually are going to be okay. There's only a very low chance of something coming after the middle of October, but of course we're going to watch it all the way through the end of hurricane season. Don't forget to download our Fox 26 weather app. You can find all things tropical. Of course, all of your radar updates. You can get all of your weather alerts, whether it be tropical, whether it be a severe thunderstorm, watch your warning, tornado watch your warning, uh, alert for wildfires, also drought conditions. All sorts of info can be found on our weather app. So make sure you download that. And of course, you can also find us on Fox Local. That's our new connected TV app. It's free. You can find it on your Roku, your Apple, Apple TV, Android TV, Amazon Fire Stick. It is everywhere and it is free and you can find us streaming there. You can watch all of our newscasts, our shows, and we're also going to add extra little specials on there that you won't be able to catch on the actual station. So lots of cool things to find on Fox Local as well. So you got our Fox 26 weather app, you got Fox Local, you got Fox 26 Houston, you got our website, tons of ways to catch us and watch us live. All right, that is all I have for you today for your tropical update. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your Monday.